Hi, if we haven't met before, I'm Kim from InspiredToSing.com and today I wanted to talk to you about a question I am often asked by particularly beginner singers is why do I sound like I'm just talking, like I'm kind of monotone and I just don't sound like I'm really singing as such. So go back to the videos that I have on alignment and breathing and support, so singing from the diaphragm, um, because that's also going to just absolutely boost your resonance or the vibration, the fullness of sound that will help you get a, a better sound. But what we're going to do today is talk about the way that we shape our words when we sing because it's a little bit different to the way that we talk and if you sing the way that you talk you're going to sound like you just talk singing yeah so the vocal tract which is the the lips all the way through to your throat we can shape it in lots of different ways and they have lots of different sounds so we're going to experiment with two different things that i want you to start playing with to get your voice sounding less kind of flat and spoken and more like open and singy yeah <laughs> so the first thing i'm going to get you to do is my little trick of putting your hands around your ears so that you can hear yourself better and i'm going to do a line from um, beyonce's halo to kind of show you the evolution of this so i'm gonna do this with you so that i look like a crazy person so join in with me if you would like so we're gonna do remember those walls i built or oh, baby they're tumbling down so that line and i'm gonna do it with my mouth shaped like the way that i would speak so it's not really that open it's kind of relaxed Remember those walls I built, or oh, baby they're tumbling down. Okay, so that kind of sounded a bit flat and boring. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open the front of our mouth a little bit. And this freaks people out because when you're not comfortable singing or you're not really sure that your sound is any good, the last thing you want to do is open your mouth and let more of it out. But just trust me on this. So sometimes I get singers to do what looks a little bit horrifying, but putting two fingers in their mouth just to give a bit of an idea of the opening. So you don't have to go quite this wide, but it's to give you a bit of an idea. And often I'll get singers to sing with the fingers in their mouths and they end up having bite marks on their fingers because they, they really, really want to close their mouths. That's kind of that um, mental, emotional element of it. But we're going to just try and open it a little bit more and hear the difference that that already makes in your voice. So, popping your hands around. Remember those walls I built, or oh, baby they're tumbling down. Could you hear a difference in my voice from when I had my mouth really, really closed as if I was just having a normal conversation and then when I kind of opened it a little bit more like this? <laughs> which sounds ridiculous if I'm talking, but when I'm singing, it actually makes a, a, a nicer impact. So the second thing that we're gonna experiment with is opening the inside of your mouth. So when we sing, we tend to broaden our vowels. We make them a little bit more open than when we talk. And this then creates a lot more kind of color and um, fullness, roundness to the voice. So we're gonna experiment with this by just doing a kind of a, a basic but kind of ridiculous exercise because there are lots of different rules in terms of the way that we shape our vowels and it kind of depends a lot on where you're singing in terms of registers, so low, middle or high, uh, but that's, you know, that's a bit more advanced. We're just gonna do this as a, a baby step um, to get you sounding a little bit less like you're talking. So I'm gonna get you to speak as if you're in a Shakespearean production. So again, we're gonna feel ludicrous, but it's good because we're getting somewhere. You know, we always do crazy things to get somewhere. So we're gonna do, remember those walls I built? Well, baby, they're tumbling down. So again, it sounds crazy when I speak it, but what happens if I actually keep those shapes when I sing? So we've got the mouth a little bit open and inside you're gonna feel like there's a little bit more space. So, remember those walls I built, well baby they're tumbling down. Can you hear the difference that that makes? So we've gone from having the mouth closed at the front and closed at the back, or very little space at the back, to opening both those things up and then you get a much fuller sound. 
So I hope that you enjoyed this experiment. As I said, it's easier to hear yourself when you have um, your little koala ears on. Um, but leave a comment if you, if you noticed anything, if you've got any questions, I would love to hear from you. So hopefully this takes you from sounding like you're just speak singing to something that resembles much more of what you think singing should be. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Um, let me know, as I said, if you've got any questions, pop a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great week.